Resident Evil movie reboot wheels keep turning, and it seems like we're getting more and more news faster as the movie continues filming. Just recently, I made a video showing set photos and how closely it's actually starting to look like the video game universe. So far, they're doing an awesome job in that aspect. Before that, I made a video about the cast of characters and the actors playing them. Today, I've got a quick little video for you with more casting announcements. There's more characters from the video game universe. And these new pieces of information, I think, do give us a little more context as to what we can expect out of the story. I've mentioned before it's described as being a new starting point for the Resident Evil movie universe, so fans would really expect it to cover Resident Evil 1 with elements of 2, all mixed in and somehow that'll lead into a potential sequel showcasing Resident Evil 2. And now we have a set photo specifically in Resident Evil 2 territory. You remember all those set photos of the outside of the Raccoon City Police Department? Here it is again at night with a fire raging and a horde of zombies marching to the gates. This is strictly Resident Evil 2 slash 3 territory. I'm surprised we haven't gotten more information on the Spencer Mansion portion of the story, which I'll get more into in a second here. But this set right here showing moments from Resident Evil 2 does reflect in the casting updates. Chief Irons has been cast, the pervy, insane, police chief that's got murderous tendencies and screwed over the entire police department to take everybody down with him. He's being played by Donald Logue. More recently, he played Detective Bullock in the Gotham TV series. I don't think he completely looks like Irons, but if he plays the role well, I can care less. Characters don't have to physically resemble the video game ones to a T. I think he's a decent actor, I think that's fine, and Ada Wong, also from Resident Evil 2, is played by Lily Gao, known for her role in the series, The Expanse. I really don't know her from anything else, but she looks the part. Ada Wong is in this, guys. And you can argue, well, you can still have these characters and it focus on Resident Evil 1, because there was an Umbrella Scientist called John that Ada was using for information. Chief Irons, he's basically the manager of Stars, so that doesn't necessarily exclude the Resident Evil 1 storyline. At this point, I can only assume that Resident Evil 1 and 2 are happening simultaneously in this new movie universe, with Stars dealing with the Spencer Mansion incident while the outbreak spreads outside in the city. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. I don't think it's going to be flashbacks or anything like that. The events are way too important to be relegated to flashbacks. And I don't hate that, but it does concern me that this could be too many things going on for one movie. We'll get more details when the trailer's released sometime. And why do I think Resident Evil 1 Spencer Mansion incident is still a strong plot point? Besides the fact that we do have a photo of the Spencer Mansion inside. Well, we're getting stars members in the movie besides Chris and Jill. So more character announcements are surely to come down the pipeline as filming continues. Richard Aiken has been cast, the brave member of Bravo team that dies in multiple ways throughout the first game. There are terrible demons. Ouch! I love that Bravo team's gonna be getting some on-screen love. With the original Resident Evil movie, that mansion incident just had a bunch of made-up characters I didn't care about, so it's awesome seeing that someone like Richard is gonna be in a Resident Evil movie. He's being played by Chad Rook. I had no idea who he was, I had to look him up, and he was apparently in The Flash, and I remembered him when I saw him. He plays Weather Wizard. White guy, blonde, sure. He's Richard, that's fine. And he did confirm on his social media that he is in the movie, and he is playing Richard Aiken, so it is confirmed. This is just another notch of excitement on my Resident Evil movie reboot belt. Like I said, I'm a little concerned that maybe they're gonna rush the story a bit. I'll hold judgment on that until I know more. But that's our quick update for now. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think of these new casting updates, and uh, what other characters are you waiting for. Personally, I'm waiting for Hopper from Stranger Things to be cast as Barry. Please. I can't think of a better actor to play him. I'll catch you guys later. Since you made it to the end of this video, I assume you enjoyed it, so why don't you go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any new content. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, links in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can join my Patreon or become a channel member. This is Fabian, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.